sick. What's up everybody? Uh, before I go any further on this project, I kind of want to uh, make a video about what I'm about to do. Um, you can see everything, I've pretty much sanded down all that clear I shot on it yesterday. It's all smooth. Um, what I'm about to do is I'm going to what's called flow coating. I'm gonna put a couple more coats of clear on this and the reason being is that A, I don't want to take the time to spend all that time buffing it. Um, for me personally it's easier for me to sand everything back down flat and put more coats of clear on it um, than spending three four hours buffing everything flat and smooth uh, and the reason being why I do that is it's all um, to me this day and age people are more worried about the price uh, than what they're going to get for that price and a paint job and part of that is because I feel like us painters don't do a well enough job explaining the different price points of either being just a regular insurance job or something that's actually going to be custom, maybe a show car. Um, now this bike I'm doing here is definitely not going to be a show bike. The customer is going to drive it every day. Um, he's going to obviously take care of it because it's going to be close to something that is going to be called or considered a show bike um, but the the difference is mainly the price um, we painters I mean me personally I can I don't I can't speak for anybody else but I do this to make a living you know I, I love doing it it is a passion of mine and like I said earlier I feel like we don't explain ourselves as well as what we need to be doing that way you as customers understand 
what you're actually going to be getting. Um, this day and age, I feel like, especially my generation, they think they pretty much know everything because of the internet and everybody's done this or done that. And when it comes down to it, they don't know anything about it. So I'm making this video kind of be more informative, explaining exactly why um, different price points and what you're going to be expecting to get when you are paying that certain price. Um, this customer, like I said, it's not a show bike or anything. He's going to be driving it. Uh, but he is paying that money for something really, really nice. So I'm going to do what I said earlier, what's called float coating. And basically what that is is just sanding it down, the, the existing clear that is, was on there that I put on there yesterday, and putting one or two more coats of clear on top of that. Um, one reason being I'll show you right here uh, is everything you put on as far as clear you're you're putting what they call orange peel into um, your atomization of the product going onto the panel it is going to be what people call orange peel and you can see it right here all these little I call them stars these little stars there you can't get around it it's just it's going to happen um, it's just the, the way of you know, the paint apply going on to that surface I mean yeah there are better uh, guys out there who can slick it out things like that and make sure it is really really slick but to get at a, a true slick slick job you can a buff the shit out of it until you take all the clear off and flatten it back out and buff it or B I like to do this I like to sand it flat um, and then add a couple more coats of clear onto it and it will actually give you that depth of you can actually stick your hand in that paint job because it is a mirror image. It, it looks exactly like glass. Um, now before, when you guys saw that video yesterday I posted, if you haven't, it's in my Facebook feed, um, you would say that was pretty damn good because it, it, it was pretty much glass. Um, but with me applying all these different layers of artwork, on like this gas tank and the fender and the, the side air filters um, you when you clear that it that clear sets in those different uh, valleys let's call them valleys and then it, it, it's not really purely flat like it should be so this way it when I sand it I'll, I'm able to actually sand it completely flat as you can tell there is no valleys there is no um, anything popping out on the edges of where I've taped off um, it is all flat so when I applied this next two coats of clear on it it's going to be completely flat and it's going to be like glass um, and that's another reason why um, different price points when people when you guys are always asking me you know what's it going to cost to do this what's it going to cost to do that and Pretty much the same. I get the same answer from everybody. It doesn't matter when I'm, oh, that's too much. That's too much. Well, you know, A, it comes from the amount of experience your painter has. B, the type of products he's going to be using on that. And C, how far is he willing to do quality work on whatever it is that you want done? Um, some guys would, would have just gave the customer back you know, depending on what they're they're willing to pay, they won't go this far. Um, and I wanted to actually show you guys before's and after when I get done clearing this. I'll post a, another video of it all cleared afterwards. Um, that way, you guys can actually see. I mean, the video is not going to really. You're going to be able to see this thing in person, and actually tell the difference. But the video is not going to actually show you everything. But you know, it's just. You, this way you can actually, I can sand the dirt nibs out of it. Um, and you know, people are like, oh, you're not doing it right. If you get dirt in it, you're spraying in the booth. It should be completely clean. Well, that's not true either. You always, I mean, it don't matter how clean your shit is. It's, it's always, you're always going to get dirt. You're always going to have the uh, orange peel. Um, there, there, it's just, it's just, it's just how painting is. I mean, I've been doing this for a while and, 
Um, I've heard it all, you know, and I personally get sick and tired of people on the internet bashing other guys' work and thinking they know exactly how to do something and how it should come out and they don't know jack shit about it. So I'm going to, you know, uh, like I said, I'm sick and tired of hearing it and I, I think it's better off to be more informative than it kind of has come across uh, like an asshole and, you know, tell you tell a lot of you guys off and tell you guys that you don't know what you're talking about and all this other stuff. So uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, post in comments, um, you know. I will post a video afterwards so you guys can see the, the difference. But here it is um, before before the second second round of clear. What's up, everybody? So this is after two more coats of clear. I was talking about earlier flow coating it. Well, this is it done. Probably hard to tell by the picture, but it's pure glass. No orange peel. If there is any, it's very, very minimal. Most of the most people won't even be able to recognize it. And I think I've only caught one dirt nib out of reclearing all this, which I can live with one dirt nib. It's better than buffing the whole thing, but it's purely glass. And that's all just from taking a few hours, maybe two hours I've got total from sanding, cleaning, re-prepping all this, and re-clearing. You can't beat that. Not for this look. No major imperfections, no runs. It goes on so smooth, it's like, it's almost like magic. You know, when you, when you go to like a higher end place, as far as a shop or a painter, this is, this is kind of what they do. Um, they'll re, re-flow coat what they already got as a base. And just slick the shit out of it. But it's, like I said, the orange peel is very, very minimal. I mean, that's just coming out of the gun. That's just, that's like I said earlier. It's, it's just how painting is. I mean, you're, you're not, you're not gonna be able to get 100% no orange peel. You know, if this was actually a pure show bike, this thing would get wet sanded down to 5,000 and buff the hell out of to get every little imperfection out I just want to show you guys before and after the difference you know if you you find a guy that'll do this without charging you Charging to labor at least. He's, that's just a good guy in general, but you know, I did use 12 more ounces of clear than I did before just because I wanted to get this flow coated. But it's just crazy how slick. No lines, no nothing. You can't even tell. It's like the artwork was already there. I can't wait to see this stuff out in the sun. Now this has been, it's been flashing off for about 20, 25 minutes. It's still pretty gummy, but I'll let it flash off for another about 10, 15 minutes and I'll, I'll turn the bake on and bake it for about 30 minutes at 160 and 
it'll be uh, still soft, but it'll be good to, to pick up and get it out of this booth and back to the customer. There's another dirt. I see it right there. Little dirt nib right there. Yep. Got another one. Like I said, if you have any comments or questions, post them below.